The Filipino engineered 1U cube satellite named as Maya 1 was launched into space from the International Space Station, ISS, on Friday. The deployment was watched live by representatives from UP Diliman, the Department of Science and Technology, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and the Japanese Embassy in Manila at UP Diliman, where the video feed was beamed from the Tsukuba Space Center in Japan. Maya-1 was launched along with Bhutan-1 and UITM Sat-1, developed by Bhutan and Malaysia respectively. It is the second Philippine satellite to be deployed into orbit succeeding the Diwata-1 microsatellite launched in 2016. Maya-1 was injected into orbit from the Kibo module through the Japanese experimental module Small Satellite Orbital Deployer. It is expected that the Maya-1 and other satellites will remain in orbit for about a year from an altitude of 400 kilometers. Filipino engineers like Joven Javier of DOST ASTI say that they will focus on communication with the CubeSat for the remainder of its orbit. First contact was successfully established in the day of deployment. The satellite's trajectory is expected to pass over the Philippines for an average of three to four times lasting eight minutes a day. The ground station at UP Diliman tasked itself with uploading commands and downloading data from Maya-1 when it flies over the Philippines. The implementation of the store and forward system is one of the scientific missions that the Maya-1 is expected to provide. The SNF is a remote data collection system that allows satellites to gather data from remote ground systems that it will pass through. It stores the data and forwards it to the ground stations. The SNF system can benefit Filipinos with the useful data it gathers from isolated locations that have limited access to communication infrastructure. Scientists from the local satellite research program say that data such as photographs taken by the satellite can be used to generate early warnings for natural disasters like landslides and flash floods. It can also be used to assist health monitoring systems in remote regions and as a tracking system aiding endangered species and fishing vessels.